Hi, welcome to this mini episode of Anne of Green Gardens. Springtime is here, and beautiful things like roses are blooming and making lots of great fragrances in your garden. And unfortunately, also attracted to these roses are a tiny insect called the aphid. If you've never seen an aphid before, I'm going to show you what they look like. After winter time, a lot of them just start to appear out of nowhere. Their eggs have been overwintering, just waiting for this moment and waiting for the temperature to be just right. Some of them have wings, some of them don't, and if you see the little white bits that are all over the roses, those are called aphid castings, which are their skin. So they're getting bigger and bigger, and as they get bigger, they shed these castings. So one of the neat things that can happen on your roses is you'll also see some friendly little folks like this ladybug. I think this ladybug is trying to take a nap right now and I keep disturbing it. So as you can see it's just trying to rest there but during the day the ladybug likes to walk around and wander and find aphids which it can grab a hold of and suck the juices out of. Now unfortunately for the ladybug there are other creatures around like ants. A lot of times people think ants eat their plants, but they really don't. Ants really like to eat um, the honeydew on aphids. So when you touch your plants and they're really sticky, that's because the aphids are giving off this sticky substance called honeydew. That honeydew is sort of like milk in a way. The aphids are like cows and the ants are like farmers. So they're taking advantage of that situation. Some ways you can get rid of aphids are by using something from the store called a safer soap. And you want to use that rather than your own formulated soap because then you'll know what's in it. And you can spray that on there and that will get rid of the aphids and other bad bugs. Just remember that it also can kill ladybugs and other beneficial insects, so look where you spray before you spray. And also remember that above 80 degrees, unfortunately, this can also harm your plants. So I hope I've given you enough information on how to get rid of aphids and be able to enjoy roses in your garden. And remember, you won't be able to get rid of every single aphid. You've got to leave a few for the ladybugs. So until next time.